Greetings, my brave Vita friends, Ben Pearson, the Roaster Tracker, and we had decided last time that we need to do a fair bit of, well, reorganization. Um, let's see, let's take this train. Just trying to set, I mean, there's not really many trains here at the moment, which is interesting. Um, uh, this is a good one. Yeah. We're going to go and reorganize our oil refinery. We'll just call it refinery because it's not really oil. Um, we're going to try to make more propane and fewer other things. And I've got a few ideas on how to make that. We discovered last time there is some much, much better recipes. And we're going to try to use some of those. So let's drop off here. Okay, so first of all, we know that this graphite has got to go. So we're going to cut off. this cut off this we also need to cut off the methane from the top and we can get hydrogen in well we don't actually get hydrogen from that side but that's okay we're gonna cut this off we'll let it back up and whatnot but okay Still 1.3k in that, huh? I mean, fair. We'll leave the rest of this until this clears out just a little bit more. Which is going to be a little while. Alright. So, next up... We have carbon monoxide. Um... Hmm. How do we want to do this? Do we want to make a new propane factory effectively? So I want to switch things over to using compressed carbon dioxide and compressed, I mean the compressed nitrogen Let's, let's go do an audit of the compressed carbon dioxide and the nitrogen and see if we can actually just use all of them compressed or what exactly to do. Hmm. We could probably... Well, let's see, this electrolysis... Let's start with the electrolysis. What can we electrolyze? Um, saline, brine, steam electrolysis pressurized, water electrolysis pressurized. So the water is what we can do pressurized. Okay, we are starting to clear out this old section. Um, what we could do actually with this, I think we're going to have this just convert, we're going to take this out and we're going to have this convert um, the benzene, which we're currently burning and convert that into other useful things. Then we also would like to change this, these guys over, but they, this one. There's a much better formula that uh, has more methane. 
We could probably get rid of this methane production, actually. This is ethane. Methane. Hmm. Maybe we'll get rid of the wind turbines, too. Uh, the ethane we could probably get rid of because we're not going to need that as much. This just burns off the excess ethane, and it looks like we're not currently really using it. Okay. Yeah, that comes from this tank. All right, hmm. How's the clearing stuff out going? Good. Um, let's go ahead and take out everything that doesn't need to be here anymore. Even just taking this out and relying wholly on this is going to help some. But then... Can we do the full conversion? That's the question. Hmm. Or do we want to do this in a different way? Like, we could ship it in, we could create some new lines here. But really, we need a pressurized factory. And I do not want it to be... I don't think we want to take this space over. Why don't we... here, let's send out some of our scout drones. I want to see what this looks like. We might be able to extend the rail. The Whatever we do, it needs to be able to have decent access to here. Okay. What about up here? And I'm going to send one down there, and one maybe here and there. Okay. Calcite. i got to remember the name of that changed. Um... Got bauxite, we've got... Iron ore. So there is a decent amount of space here that we could do. There's not really a whole lot going on. Hmm. Let's do another one. Let's do one here and one here. Okay. Well, I think the cleanest way, we know we're going to have to make organics and stuff like that eventually, but uh, okay, let's just, one other thing, let's look at all of the recipes that use carbon dioxide. I want to see if all of those have a compressed form, because if they do, then we could change things. So let's see. That's not carbon using. It's 
So this is just a sink of carbon dioxide. Ah. And then... The only things that we actually use it for is right here. Okay, carbon dioxide can be completely converted over to compressed with basically no downtime. Carbon monoxide could be converted over to compressed with basically no downtime. So, all right. Uh, what about nitrogen? So nitrogen's used here. We'll have to check that one out. Probably does not work pressurized. I mean, we pump it up here, so it can obviously be used there, and that's the last place that it's used. All right. So what's the poly... Does need to have uncompressed nitrogen. Hmm. Okay. So we do have a decent buffer, but you know, we have a fair number of machines for this. We've got a good buffer. Why, well, hang on. Let's just see if there was a boxed formula that uses compressed nitrogen. Nope. And the output though, I mean, hydrogen's gonna be the hard one. I think hydrogen, we would have to have a dual thing. So what we'll do, compressed hydrogen is just gonna go into carbon monoxide. And here, those two things only. Okay. So what if we make this into our compressed hydrogen? Um When we send this up, we stop sending it along this line entirely. So we send this up, up, up to, we just pump it in here. Um, hmm. Okay, sky is now gone. We can get rid of it entirely. So let's start with the benzene breakdown because we know we're going to need that regardless. And that will actually allow us to really simplify a lot of things. Uh, where can we check, where's our benzene? Right here. Yep, at 20,000 we pump it here. I'm gonna actually, we'll leave this alone for now, but it's gonna be 50,000. We're gonna need more steam, I believe, because I believe you need steam to break down that.
Um. I think we want to only do this through a relief valve because we're going to start needing a lot more steam. Okay. Honestly, we would like the... What we really want is a one-way valve because we want to be able to bring in some of the steam from the other direction, but all right. This was our steam production and low temperature, huh? Yeah, we probably are gonna need to improve this a fair bit. Hmm. Because steam is definitely something that we need more of. Now, very interestingly, our benzene is not actually going up anymore. So, you know, we do have some use for benzene, and presumably it's just, well, hang on. getting burned up here, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to stop doing that. No more auto benzene cracking. In fact, this whole thing is just going to go away. We'll leave what's in here for the moment, but it will all go away. All right, making progress. It's styrene. Styrene isn't that important. All right, so we're going to fluids. What I want to see, benzene. Benzene reforming will convert it to carbon monoxide. And this has to be done in a distillery, all right. Let's try here. I don't... It's too close. This is gonna have some issues. Hmm... So we don't really have enough space there. Darn. Um, what else could we do? I was really hoping there was going to be enough space there. Um, in any case, we actually do have enough carbon monoxide here. So maybe we do need to keep burning the benzene? Hmm. Looking to see if there's anything else that we could do. Not easily. I mean, we could put a couple of them, but how much does this actually do, the benzene reforming? 
Um, this will burn. It's only 10 benzene that it burns. That's a lot of hydrogen and carbon monoxide. That's 120 hydrogen, 60 carbon monoxide. Then this guy will use slightly more carbon. Yeah, that's pretty close to the same ratios. Hmm. Honestly, I think we'd probably get the same effect though by just using the better formula. I think benzene reforming is something we're just gonna have to deal with. The benzene... Hmm. Choices, choices. Well, we'll let this go for a while. And it's too bad the distilleries are so big. Um, now we're starting to see starvation of the carbon dioxide. And... I mean, these guys are all operating at full capacity. Yeah. I think instead we're just going to have our other little factory. All right. Enough time on this. Let's get started doing something useful. Hopefully we, well, we can find a station for, it'll be propane, maybe methane. Ooh. Such slow, slow walking. Um, oh well. We ought to have some brick, but we do not. Well, hello there. Unupgraded stuff. We have not visited in a long time. So we're gonna have to do some squiggles with our rails. gonna copy this this is the longest segment of straight rail that we've got we're gonna put it right there And then are these pylon? Oh, they are pylon ones. Meh. To go straight for that, huh? Okay. We have explosives. And again. Okay. Hmm. 
so this will be relatively small, but we are going to do this seaside or this is going to be another similar one that's going to be effectively pure fresh water. I don't have any because my bots must have them all. But that'll get that going. How is our power? Well, these guys aren't even connected at all, are they? Alright, let's just try this. Yeah, I guess we're just a little bit too close to do that one. That's okay. Good. Now we've got all this going. Uh, power is not too terrible, but we probably are going to need more soon, which is not a bad thing. How has all of this stuff been going? So we're back to full concrete, good. Glass is still pretty empty. Hmm. What could we do to improve the glass? The glass is all mostly working other than this guy who's missing. Silica. Okay. And is there anything we can do to improve the silica production? Wait. Waste water? That's totally full. So what were we doing with the waste water? We were bringing it along here. This guy is totally full. Too much saline water. Eh. All right, well, we do need to visit that then probably. Um, let's go fix that real quick. We'll just dump out some saline water. And that'll help us produce quite a bit more. Is there anything else that we could do though? Hmm. Because the saline water is effectively consumed by converting it to brine. Yeah, I mean, we've got to go out there one way or another. That's just all it comes down to. It's pretty amazing though, we're really starting to extend... ...go to places where we've never been before. I should have hopped on that train. Uh, what trains do we have? Just the rubber plastic. So little plastic, it's so sad. Eventually we're going to have to refactor that, but... Ooh. 
Oof. Okay, perfect. This is just getting refueled. We're a little bit low. Yeah, our power... We're gonna need to probably set up some more panels here soon. Which will be good. We have plenty of them in our inventory. Oh boy. Uh, we should get off before we start going up. Yeah, this is just uh, too many trains trying to get off on the same station. Okay. I saw that red flash and I thought I was hurt for a second, but nope. It was not a red flash, it was an orange flash, and it was uh, showing we're in Roboport range. Okay, so what we're going to do is dump... this. Whole content. So that is going to have us producing more caustic solution, caustic solution. Really need to look up how to properly pronounce that, but... And that's also going to be using our brine. So we should be, yes, we're starting to see this already. Good. You're already full? What? Delete the whole system contents again. And then I'm going to upgrade this belt. Not belt, this line. Poor guys, they come all the way with the reds and they're like, oh, he didn't actually want red. Okay, good. Pick the limits again. We just do not have the need for the hydrogen chloride that... Hmm. All right. Well, you have no hydrogen chloride to speak of. You have water. Hang on. What? can't pump this out. Um, all right, so let's do this. It's gonna seem a little silly, but it will work. We need the ability to pump in if there's not enough and pump out if there's too much. Right now there's clearly too much. So what we're gonna do is put a separate condition here. This pump is going to be activated if 
there is more than 40,000. This is greater than or equal to 50,000. So we have way too much, then pump out. If we have too little, then you can pump some in. problem is is this tank will actually never get to be that full so this needs to be more like 30 and we see we are filling this up so let's set it to 40 good So now we're going to be converting lots more hydrochloric acid here. But you can already see we have more than enough, but we are using what we're producing. I mean, we can import some, but honestly, we'd rather not. Let's... Go ahead and add a tank into this real quick. Thank you bots for all of your stuff that you're giving me. Uh, what is the deal with this? I don't know. Huh. I think we started to do something then decided we didn't need to. That's the only thing I can think of. Or maybe we totally redid a system at one point in time. Anyways, we may as well dump this into here. Looks like our silicon ingots are being more heavily used. Okay. Could probably kill this at this point in time. We are burning quite a bit of sand, which is good. I think this is gonna do just fine. Now that we have a better system for getting the hydrogen chloride in and out, then that's good. So let's see. We're gonna pump this down here and then we're going to And let's go up a couple squares. Okay. This will be a little bit better pressurized. And we'll also have a little bit more of a buffer because I do want to use the local stuff as much as we can. I would definitely prefer using it to the imported stuff. So let's actually, hmm, let's upgrade these guys. And this one as well. The upgraded will just be a little bit more likely to take from below, I believe. We already have a full, full tank. Lots of pressure, all of that good stuff. Excellent.
Okay. Yeah, we do know the silicon or polycrystal silica is basically not being updated because we need to have more propane, which is a problem that we're working on. But we're getting glass, that's good. Oof. So looking to see if there's a train that we can hop on that'll take us to roughly where we want to go. Don't know about this guy. Nope. Don't want to go down, I want to go up. Uh... That was silly. Before we do this, let's go get some stone brick so we can pave our road so we don't have to walk on quite so much snow. It'd be good to get rid of some of that buffer anyways. And then we can see if these guys want anything that we've got. We could take the building train out. You know, let's take the building train. Let's definitely do that. One other thing to remember, we don't really need the blue belt production that we have here anymore. It looks like all of the sciences, we have a decent amount. The physical science research is definitely the least. And it looks like um, pretty consistently, well, labs were missing out on some, but it's more, which one is that? The combustion chambers? Yeah. Combustion chamber seems to be the most critical lacking thing. All right. Is there anything we can do to improve that? Because combustion chamber seems like something we should be able to improve. I mean, we could definitely make more combustion chamber twos. Don't see a reason not to, actually. Mm. So this is roughly where our buffer box is. That'll help a little bit. Um, stuff we really need to... Um, the acrylic fiber wasn't particularly useful here, but it is here. So let's set up a requester chest here. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, that should help there. Um, the iron ore, we'll figure something out with that. Small assembler ones, we don't really have a good way out either. The gravel boxes, 
You can just request it somewhere. Or, I don't know. Okay, building train. Boy, this is going to be getting into the crazy territory. So... You know... Other than the modules... Which we just don't seem to have enough of anywhere. This train is pretty well stocked. So I'm going to take it to right here. We'll build the train station first, and we'll build another one of the massive train stations, because we know how these train stations tend to go. And then we'll go from there. Choo choo. Sorry, I'm being quiet. Just taking a moment to breather to keep our thoughts going. So we need to have. Let's start with the water system and we'll need an air system. We're going to start out as if we're making graphite. Because it's going to be pretty similar. We're going to base it off of this structure. So we're going to need compressed air. And put the air for, well, the train station first. Yeah. No, the air. No, let's do a train station. Gonna copy it to here. Um, I'm not. Hang on. Let's start with this. Let's copy the base first. Obviously, there's some things that we're going to have to trash with this, but we want this about here. Okay, and then we'll get rid of the pipes. Go blow up some. Wish they would be smart enough to grab the explosives. Now we're going to copy this whole thing. Okay. Let's just get rid of any of these lines that go outside for the moment. Oh, the names. We need to change the names of all of the stations as well. Hopefully we're not going to get any trains stopped by here. Well, let's get the explosives going. Definitely going to have to explode a few things. Boy, I remember when improvised explosives were our explosives. 
probably should have just deconstructed this entire area because we do need to have it cleared. These guys, we're just gonna call these unknown for now. Okay. So let's get all these stations fixed. That hurt. We may have to start uh, carrying some repair packs or something. Okay. So let's get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. Looks like we definitely have some stuff that we're gonna need to take out. Uh, boom, boom. Now, hopefully this is mostly gonna be fluids. We'll probably do a graphite pickup station here as well, because we'll have the methane. We do have the ability to send methane actually to the other base and the methane will get consumed into graphite. So, whoops, maybe that's not a bad idea. Yeah, well, I guess we'll just do that. Okay. Does look like no more trains actually made it down here, which is good. Uh, well, uh, our train escaped didn't should have put it in manual that's okay come out there we're gonna steal some train stations and stuff like that from it Not bad though, overall. Now this area below here, I mean, we'll save a little bit of room for finagling things, but well, nah, we'll start with the water having the waste access. Actually, why don't we do something on the other side of the belt? Okay, you're going to be manual. So what we need is train stations. Do I actually not have train stations? Oh, there we go. Like surely we do. We're going to need loaders, blue loaders.
think those are the two big things that we're gonna need. Okay. And then let's also get... Those guys, good. Beautiful. Oh, and then for some reason we don't have a train station there. Just want to make sure that we have one here. Yes, we do. It's probably not enough stone. Yeah. That might become an issue that we need to worry about at some point in time. But for now, we're doing fine. Okay, we do have some bricks, so let's go ahead and put a sidewalk to take us up. Now I'm trying to decide if we just want to get rid of our uh, excess air or exactly what we want to do. But let's start by... I mean, nitrogen I don't think we're likely to use. Hmm... Yeah, let's start with a couple of these. Um, we'll need to be able to pump in air from someplace else. So I guess we'll do it like this. Let's give a little bit more space at the bottom. probably have a sensor or two, but let's go ahead and power everything up now that uh, we know. Okay. We have our layout and whatnot. This is going to be a mammoth undertaking. How about that? That actually fits perfectly. Just want to make sure all the connections hooked up and they do. Good. So we'll get some air coming in from different places, but I think this will do for our carbon dioxide production. Jeez, this is going to be a lot. Wow. Um, okay, so we need some more distilleries. We're going to be sending our building train back quite a bit. I'm going to, well, let's have the building train be the last stop of this one. This is going to be propane building train. Okay. So... You're going to say go until full cargo. So go to there. You can remove the temporary stop. Okay. That's okay. Okay, we got our distilleries now. And then the air production, we're going to need a bunch of these. So we need one, two, three, four, five of these. And we have it twice as long, so we're going to need ten. Uh, let's put these on the other side of the belts. I'm going to make a smaller sidewalk here. Let's 
That's a one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, actually put these guys we'll have them back to back yes let's do that okay probably gonna run out of pipe and that's fine and air filters too wow wow that's actually impressive. I hope I have air filters. That's not the kind of thing I would have thought to bring. Hmm. Okay. All right, and then... The undergrounds... We do have blue pipe undergrounds, don't we? We're out of those too, wow! Cool. All right. Yeah, I guess we were out of those here. Oh. That's yucky. We copied that. Hmm. So we're gonna have to do just a little bit of interestingness. That, that wasn't so bad. Okay. So let's go steal all of our blue pipes. Yeah, I guess we ran out over here. All right. Uh, long episode. Let's just finish hooking up the air filters we've got to here, and then we'll call this episode done. Oh, I forgot to grab air filters, if we have any. Uh, we'll grab those. I'll do that probably between episodes. Let's just take this line up here. Good. And now, final thing. All of these guys are now compressing. Ooh. Why do they not all have power? Oh gosh. Finish this out. Okay. That's what I get for mixing power poles. I deserve this. Perfect. Now everything is getting compressed gas and we'll figure out next time what we're going to do. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Let me know what questions or comments you guys have. I appreciate everything you do. Until next time, keep on tracking. Take care. We will see you then. Bye-bye.